today on Be Something Wonderful. Knowing this changes your entire life overnight. Seriously powerful. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big video today and it's coming out a little later because I had an early morning session with a client. This was a new client and the revelations were huge and I, I thought I got to get this into a video today. So I want to talk about this. When, when this person booked a session with me, normally when you do that on the calendar you can write a few comments about what you want to talk about. This is where his comments in the, when he initially scheduled the session. I create powerful things but still feel unfulfilled, limited, exhausted, and frustrated at times. Hear this, powerful creator, very knowledgeable in reality creation, right? Not new to this. In fact, this is what he said in our, in our session uh, this morning. Tom, yesterday's video hit different. This is the video uh, manifesting everything, anything with ease that is, I have a link uh, below in the description. It's also yesterday's video so you can see that now. He goes, I've studied all the greats you talk about. I've manifested some amazing things but always from the concept of limitation. Hear the wording he's using here. Concept. Self-concept. Your identity. And getting fulfilled. In other words, always manifesting from that physical experience the belief that I am, this physical experience is reality and I'm going to manifest and create it to be better. Do you see it? To, to attract things into it. And he was, and again, it wasn't that he wasn't creating things. It's that it was hot and cold or he just felt like something's missing. I'm still feeling that, I'm still feeling that limitation. I'm still feeling that non-fulfillment. So he goes, I didn't get it until now. This is after he watched yesterday's video. That what, what, that what I was seeing, whether I was seeing my overdrawn checking account with bills to pay, right? This is his story. Or a windfall of a sales deal of mid six, six figures that, that paid his debts and paid everything and then he continued to have money flowing in. He goes, it's all a miracle expression of my unlimited consciousness. Hear the insight here, that, it, that it's not the, the, the expression of 3D, the projection or the reflection or the 3D hologram is not limited in any way. It's, it's not reality, it's an expression of that unlimited you. We're the ones that see the limitations, that create the limitations, that create the good and bad and right and wrong, that judge those appearances. Right? It's all an expression of absolute fulfillment. Wow, this changed me literally overnight. This is what he said today. It was incredible. I, in that initial session, he's talking about, yeah, I've created powerful things, but I sense this unlimitedness, this non-fulfillment that I'm always trying to fulfill, that I'm always trying to prove my unlimitedness by always feeling limited. But remember that everything that you create Think of the miracle that you're creating right now. You're creating, you're creating the people, events, and circumstances in your 3D experience right now. That's all your creation as the creator. It's all you. It's about who and the who is you. Do you see what's going on here? This is powerful today. So let's, let's talk about this a little bit more. Remember when Neville Goddard says, conception is my end. Well, that's powerful. Because what do we mean by that? What does he mean by that? Self-concept or the idea of who I am is my end, is my entire life experience, is that physical experience. Whether, whatever that is, it's an expression of that unlimited being that I am. Right? And everything that, so you're always going to feel some limitation or non-fulfillment if you're focused on that current frame of reality and feeling that that's who you are and that you're manifesting or creating something to change that or to be more than that. You already are. That self-concept or idea of who I am is cause or source. 
That self-concept idea of who you are is cause a source of your entire life experience. While your experience is always changing, who you are as pure positive potential in all possibilities never changes. Consciousness, awareness is pure potential. It's all possibilities. I am that I am, the great I am. Knowing itself is all that is through that awareness of being, through that I am awareness. That's the real key to all of it. It's not, even, it's not even that having a lot of money is good and having no money is bad. They're all expressions of unlimited consciousness. Wow, when you get this, you get it, right? He understands that it's not, that, that, that we're the ones that create the preferences in the negative and that's why we feel, right? We forget who we are, we forget we're unlimited, that all of those are expressions that can change in any moment according to your concept according to you knowing who you really are. So, who you imagine and conceive yourself to be, conception is my end, creates, manifests, projects, and reflects your entire 3D physical experience. But none of that projection, none of that reflection, none of that hologram is limited. It's not reality, it's not real, it's absolutely the unlimited you, that unlimited being creating all that, the greater, that, that's why I really want to hit this, the greater your conception of yourself, the greater and more unlimited will be your 3D world experience. No matter what, whether you, are, you, ha, you have a pile of bills and credit card debt, or, or you have a bunch of money in the bank, it's still the same experience, it's the greater conception that matters. Not what the current hologram or reflection or perception is showing you, that is irrelevant to you knowing yourself as that greater reality. The conceiver and its conceptions are one. And remember, you're all conceptions, right? But the conceiver is forever greater than its conceptions. All the spiritual greats talk about that, right? Your I am awareness, that conceiver, you're all possibilities. You're all potential always. That never changes. So let's, let's get this a little bit more. So this idea which I've, I've presented before, you have that physical horizontal experience. What was he feeling then? He was feeling here in that 3D experience that feels immovable and solid and real, right? Imagining, right, imagining, imagining money and, and that, but it, it felt like it was hit or miss. It felt like, yeah, he's getting some things here. He's creating things. His life is, is good, but he's still feeling limited. Why? Because he's looking through those eyes, through that limited being, trying to attract and manifest things to change this experience, to change this frame. It's not about changing that frame. It's changing who you are, your conception of yourself, and that changes everything. It changes what your perceived experience of your past future and present, and present life is in this moment right now. Remember, creation's finished. So all that potential already exists. And what you want to may consider the ancient past, it's all already there. But from this now moment, you create it all. The conceiver, that changeless potential is who you really are. That all power, all potential, all possibilities, one with everything. Then you have that conception that's still the all potential. That potential changes. It's changeless, but you have the experience of that potential changing into these different forms. Not one of those forms are limiting. Not one of those forms are non-fulfillment. It's all absolute fulfillment, absolute potential. Experiencing it in your 3D experience. Right, those appearances of changing conditions, people, places, and things, and thoughts and feelings. And you imagining and affirming the change this is in vain. That's what leaves you frustrated and feeling hot and cold. You're trying to change these changing appearances. But, the, but they're always changing. That poten they're just expressing, expressing the poten all that potential that you are. All of it is unlimited. All of it is fulfillment, expressing itself. It's only when we judge it 
and then we talk about the consequences that can happen because of this, that we create that experience, that what we see as a limited or unwanted experience. When you start looking at it from the conception, from the highest conception of being absolutely unlimited, no experience then is looked at as, uh, as necessarily limiting or non-fulfilling. You might have preferences, but you're an unlimited being, so even those don't make sense anymore. All of it's good because you don't have to hold on to anything. Whether you have a bunch of money in the bank or no money in the bank and in, in, in debt, both of those are those, that, that potential of who you are. Neither one of them matter in the sense that you're the conceiver. You're the source of all of it. You get to create that and change that mold that it's all an expression of unlimitedness. So that's really what we want to get to is that you're unlimited. Go for that. Focus on that. Be that being. And then everything else starts unfolding with ease. This is what he got. That 3D physical experience, the people, places, circumstances, and things, and the changing thoughts and feelings are not reality. In other words, they're not what's real. They are creations, they're reflections and projections of your consciousness and awareness. They're experiences of a, a limited image of what is wholly unlimited. Do you see it? They're just experiences, but they're not, un, they're not limiting. They feel it, it looks like they're a limited image, but they're absolutely limitless. It's all your potential. Trying to imagine, change, and get rid of what's not real, right, is always, it, it, in, in that's always changing, leaves you exhausted, frustrated, and unfulfilled. Of course, you're gonna always feel that way when you're, when you're trying to change something that's already changing anyway, and that's not real or reality. It's an experience of ultimate reality, but it's not real, it's not the ultimate reality. You are that unlimited potential, so that can get exhausted. Feel, see all limited experiences, whether judged positive or negative, from that wholly unlimited perspective. The paradox is that then no, no experience, right, is, it, is labeled positive or negative anymore because you're seeing it as that unlimited potential expressed. See all of the 3D experience as the miracle of consciousness. This is what he got, right? He goes, it's a miracle, all of it. Even when I had the empty bank account and all those bills, I, I, I really, I'm feeling this overwhelming appreciation and gratitude for all life for all manifestations, for all experiences. This is power. Focus on the concept, your concept as creator. That's what he's doing now. Not, not a specific self-concept, but a, his concept as creator of his reality. And then having intentions based on being that creator. Whatever those intentions are. You can specifically intend Right? You, want to, you, want to, you want this position, you want that, you want to fall in love, you want this house and money. All of that's okay, but he got it from a greater perspective. The greater your conception of yourself, the greater your experience of reality. You as reality, you as all potential. Just like a, a night dream, right? Just like we have a dream at night. We talked about this this morning. The people, places, and experiences come from within you. They feel separate, and it feels like there's things to do there and things to fix, but none of it, it's all you. There's no greater act of humility, hear this, than to declare, I am God or I am source and there is no other. Because He goes, at first it, it sounded funny to me, right? And it, and it felt like I'm being arrogant, but now I get what you mean, that, the, that it, there's nothing more humble than that, right? There's nothing more humble than saying you're source and there's no other meaning that you're not separate from anything or anyone else, that you're all one, that it all comes out from within you, that you're connected with everything and everyone, that ever is, was, or ever be. There's nothing more humble than that. You're not separate, you're not more or less, you're not better or worse, you're not more limited or less limited than anybody, than the people, events, and conditions that you are experiencing. Now that's unconditional love, now that's true humility. Knowing this, just like with my client, changes your entire life overnight. Seriously powerful. 
I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, uh, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful, for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, for being part of our membership channel. We just had our third live stream last weekend. We're going to schedule our, our live stream for April. Stay tuned to see that. That's going to be broadcast on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. And we just released a video on the membership channel and another one's on the way. So more content coming there. If you're a member, check it out. If you're not, check out. There's a link below. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen in the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.